In the name of God, the most gracious, the most merciful, get your accredited master's degree today with Bayan in Islamic theology, Islamic leadership, Islamic chaplaincy, or Islamic studies. This top tier institution opens the possibility of studying with renowned faculty members from around the world who are traditionally trained alongside practitioners and academics from prestigious Western institutions and all under one roof. Study each semester for one to two weeks on campus and finish the rest of your coursework online. The students here at Bayan are actually teachers. They taught me a lot. I mean, I, I benefited from the discussion more than I really thought I would. I mean, each person brought a very unique perspective. Join our growing network of students and graduates serving the needs of our communities as imams, leaders, chaplains, scholars, and the educators of tomorrow. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah wa shukru lillahi wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa mawalah. Fasulhanaka la ilma lana illa ma'alamtana innaka andal alimul hakim. Rabbi syarah li sadri wa yasir li amri wahlul uqdatan min lisaan yabqahu qali. And welcome back, brothers and sisters, to our program, Our Common Humanity. This is a daily program with me, Imam Shamsi Ali, every day during the month of Ramadan. In the past few sessions, I talk about the importance of maintaining our brotherhood, our sisterhood, our uhuwa. And today, I would like to continue that discussion that the way to try to maintain our brotherhood is not an easy job. Uh, and the reason is simply because the human relation is a very sensitive issue. Um, and that is including between Muslims themselves. Um, we are not immune from being different type of egoistic tendencies. And often time, we sacrifice the interests of our hua for our own individual an egoistic uh, interest. And so it is very important to know what are the steps that we have to follow, that we have to do in order to maintain our uhua or brotherhood. Number one is the importance of sincerity, the importance of ikhlas. And sincerity here simply means that our relations to one another, as, as, as Umar of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, is based on one purpose, and that one main principle of purpose is to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to seek the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to have the river of Allah in our life. And so when I connect myself to someone around me, to my Muslim brothers or sisters, then my intention is simply to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There might be some benefits out of that in terms of uh, other things, either it is physical or material, it doesn't matter. But as long as the principal intention is to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that's what is the foundation of our relations. So intention is very important. Sometimes we need to ask ourselves, what is the purpose of me building a relation with my brother? What is the intention of me having connection or being a friend or being a brother to that person? And the answer must be because we want to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The moment the sincerity is broken, is impurified, is not become pure anymore, then different uh, interests may ruin, may destroy our 
brotherhood or sisterhood. This is number one, brothers and sisters. So learn how to be sincere to one another. The second one is that we have to be positive mind, positive thinking. It is very important that every time that you think about your brother, think something positive about him. Even in time that you see something wrong, let's say, do not directly go into judgment before clarification. Do not move with negative thinking before any clarification from your brother or sister. So one day, uh, there's an example. One day there was a brother who saw his brother drinking water during the month of Ramadan. And the first thing that came to his mind that this man, the brother who is drinking the water, basically did not follow the teaching of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because he doesn't put it on fast during the month of Ramadan. So what he did, he that, that he has that he had that suspicion in his mind, but not only suspicion in his mind, he began to walk around telling the people that Fulan, such a person, is not fasting in the month of Ramadan. So he created gibat, he created fitna, he created rumors about his brother without being clarifying, without a clarification about why his brother ate during the month of Ramadan. And after some days. People asked this brother, why did you eat during the month of Ramadan? And the brother told him that when he woke up in the morning, he could not handle a pain in his stomach. And because of that, he went to the doctor and the doctor gave him a medicine that if he doesn't eat that medicine, he endangered his life. His, his life was going to be dangerous. So what he did, he broke his fast by drinking the medicine. So there's no reason then to continue fasting because he drank the medicine in the morning. That's the reason. You know, this brother who saw him drinking and eating directly have in his mind that this brother did not follow the teaching of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because he did not fast during the month of Ramadan. It is very important, brothers and sisters, that in order to maintain our uhuwa, to maintain our unity, to maintain our love, compassion to one another as Muslim brothers and sisters, that we have to be positive thinking. Always have positive thinking about your brother and even when your brother is making mistake you cannot just keep in your mind negativity what you have to do is go to him advise him direct him to the right way take him back to the right path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that is our responsibility instead of having negative thinking in our minds and particularly going around and saying gossip and rumor and fitna it is destroying our connection to one another. It is destroying our brotherhood and sisterhood as Muslims. So it is very important to have positive thinking to one another. The third one, brothers and sisters, is the importance of being gentle in general. It is about being Latif. It is about having a gentle you know, sentiment, gentle feelings, gentle words, gentle actions to one another. And when we talk to your brother, choose the gentle words. Never use harsh words to your brother. Because Rasulullah Sallallahu when he talked to his companion, he always chose the best words. You know, even in time that he must express something to his companions, Rasulullah Sallallahu was so selective in using his words. He always chose the best words in communicating to the people that's what the muslim sees because words basically is one of the representation of our heart if our heart is gentle then our words will be gentle if you are stubborn and hard-heartedly then they will run away from you O muhammad that's what allah reminded the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the Holy Quran that he must always be gentle to his companions and therefore we Muslims must be gentle to one another when we talk we talk gently when we respond to our brothers and sisters we must respond gently with gentleness the Holy Quran also says remember even 
the jahilun, even let's say the kuffar, even those who do not do not believe in the teaching of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, address us, let's say, with ignorance, ignorantly, you know, with without any ethical, you know, way. There is no akhlaq. The Holy Quran says the Muslims must always respond with salam, with peace. That is the attitude of a Muslim. So in our connection to one another, we have to advance akhlaqul karima. We have to advance the connection that can maintain and strengthen our relationship, not ruining and breaking our relationship by our words, by our action. That's what Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa did to his sahaba and the sahaba between themselves to one another. Possibly the last point, brothers and sisters, to maintain our uhuwa is about nasihat, is about advice to one another. Always be someone who wanted to bring his sahaba, his brothers together to Jannah. So when you see your brothers making mistake, do not push them down to the hall. He is already he already committed mistake, and now you push him down to the, to the different mistakes. So we had to take his hand, bring him back to the right way, to the right path of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala by nasihat, by advice. But also the next one. The importance of being a role model to one another. Be example to your brother. And that's why Rasulullah Sallallahu says, Al-Mu'minu Mir'atul Mu'min. A believer is a mirror to another believer. In other words, that when you see a Muslim brother, you are seeing yourselves. When you see your Muslim brothers are smiling, you feel that you are smiling. Because your brother is an example. Your brother, your brother is a role model. For you so let's be role model to one another become a role model to your brothers and sisters around you in terms of living islam through our words by action by the face by smiling and all these are a part of our examples to one another but finally brothers and sisters because of the time in order to maintain our brotherhood we have to make dua for one another even rasulullah sallallahu imagine rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ask his sahaba umar to make dua for him who is umar compared to rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam but he says yeah umar pray for me that's rasulullah it's an example so we have to pray for one another may our brother be kept on iman may our brother be given strength when he faced tremendous challenge of life may our brother to be given more risk may our brother to be given easy life we must pray to one another more importantly may our brothers and us be kept in the guidance of Allah ayatina surat al-mustaqim Allahumma ahdina wa ahdi ikhwanan fi din inshaAllah May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us always give us tawfiq aqulu qali hadha wa astaghfirullah wa assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh In the name of God the most gracious the most merciful get your accredited master's degree today with Bayan in Islamic theology Islamic leadership Islamic chaplaincy or Islamic studies this top-tier institution opens the possibility of studying with renowned faculty members from around the world who are traditionally trained alongside practitioners and academics from prestigious Western institutions and all under one roof. Study each semester for one to two weeks on campus and finish the rest of your coursework online. The students here at Bayan are actually teachers. They taught me a lot. I mean, I, I benefited from the discussion more than I really thought I would. I mean, each person brought a very unique perspective. Join our growing network of students and graduates serving the needs of our communities as imams, leaders, chaplains, scholars, and the educators of tomorrow.